so according to my um Elgato here, this is all working. So yeah, let's uh let's get into it. So basically I am playing Final Fantasy Tactics War of the Lions on PSP right now, and I'm doing a let's play on my YouTube channel. I haven't started uploading any well I've I've uploaded them but they're not set to public yet. So I'm doing this let's play basically as a uh you know I'm doing it because, you know, there's a there's a Kickstarter for this game called Unsung Uh something something. Tales of the Guardian. Tell of the Guardians. <laughs> and yeah, I wanted to like draw attention to it. So whoops, wrong button. But yeah, let's I'm I'm basically stuck on like one of the first story missions right now, and I'm leveling because I'm stuck and I was like, you know what? I don't feel like recording all this, I'm just gonna stream it. And then put it in a long highlight clip and then upload the highlight clip to YouTube and then yeah. So I'm just going to be leveling in here as I get my squires and my chemists up to where they need to be to win this battle that I'm stuck on, and then we're good. Until then, yeah, enjoy the commentary. Because live commentary is on. Oh, I just realized I... Oh, jeez. Whatever. Yeah, my other chemist, I don't believe, has any items equipped, so I'm at a disadvantage here. And I don't think I'm at the point in the game where you can actually recruit new party members to your party, so... A lot. Also, the uh, screen uh, settings might be a bit weird since I'm using the... Uh, video output on the PSP. So yeah. Not exactly set to like full screen seven seven twenty output, whatever. But yeah, I also need to buy some equipment as far as, you know Oh, this is an easy fight. I'm just gonna stand back then and like let this guy come come to me. And then send everybody else towards the goblin. Let's do it. Tactics, one of the games I love dearly. Like this battle theme. Ah, oh, so good. Do, 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 do. Yeah, I should be able to take this guy. Maybe. I might die on the next turn, but my, my other party members will pick up the slack, so yeah. Being a start, having started a new game for the first time in a mini long time, that was probably phrased wrong. <laughs> I forgot how brutal this game is at the very beginning when you're just starting out and all your units kind of suck, just a bit. Rams and no, I mean Shepard. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm trying to like name all my characters after like, or the characters I can name anyway, after like Mass Effect characters in this playthrough. So I named uh, Rams a Shepard because why not, right? The cat can you not do that. It makes perfect sense. Oh, 
All right, this guy should be dead in like a couple of returns, and victory will be ours, and the day will be saved. Yada yada yada, stuff, blah 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 thingies. Hiya. And yeah, so I'm gonna go to Garland. I guess Egros. Oh, 600 gil. 600 gil is nothing. So actually, I'm not gonna go to Egros. I'm just gonna see what job points. I can use to get better abilities, if any. Oh, when you do, that's yeah, not bad, not bad. But I don't have anything I can get. That's awesome. All right, make sure everybody has Phoenix down, learned, and then my Squire. Almost where you can get job with JP boost, which is like the most important skill. Or one of the most important skills as far as like the early game is concerned. Alright. So all my fighters now have Phoenix down. And this chemist here, I, I don't know. I should just change the job to Archer or something. Oh, I can do that, sweet. Okay. So now we have an Archer whenever we go out. And, uh, yeah. I should get a weapon for the archer to use. <laughs> that would be pretty helpful. Do they even sell those here? No, they don't. <laughs> I'm just making sure everybody's got like the best equipment. I'm sure when I go back to Egros. Oh, is that going to cost 600? Oh my gosh, I can't even afford... Man, whatever. Okay, I'll just buy some items then. Okay, I got enough potions. Phoenix Downs, however. Oh, jeez, I can buy two. And I'm out of I'm out of money again. Let me start off in this game. Just ah, oh. so much for going to Egros. <laughs> I just wait for another random battle. Yeah, and then I also r found out today when I was looking through my videos on my hard drive that I uploaded them in the wrong order, so I need to. Ah, that's gonna be a pain to fix. But whatever, man. I will get this done, and it will be uploaded, and you know. So I'm trying to get it like every day that the Kickstarter's on. I'm trying to like get like one battle or part done, but I'm already behind by like eight days or something. So typical Tekken fashion. I mean, because I had all these other things I was trying to do for my channel, and I wanted to do, do this, and it was like, ugh, just ugh. So now it's like, well, I'm not backing down, so I'll just keep going on ahead and see what happens. All right, so we got a giant bull thingy. Um, the uh, goblins on the other side. I'll go ahead and focus on this guy over here, or thing. And yeah. Actually, I guess it's good to have an archer in because you need the learn that skill for a certain class I want to learn later, so as, I, if, as long as I can get like job points early on, that works for me. At least for Ramza. Cause I'm so, I'm so sure you like don't get to keep some chapter 1 units, I just am not sure like what the whole hubbub is on that, so... These things are strong though? Oh, luckily, okay. I think it would have like 100 hit points or something, but it's only like 65, so we, we should be able to get this guy. Them out. Oh, this is the same battle theme from the last fight. Not that that's a bad thing. I like this. I like the song. Do Ouch! Twenty-eight. That is. That hurts. It's a lot of dead damage. Ah, dang it! I can't. See, I can't throw an item around the tree, and I'm pretty sure I can't throw it around Ram or Shepard here. 
<laughs> oh, but I can. Okay, cool. All right, I'll have the archer watch the rear so we don't get flanked, and yeah. Oh, sorry. Sorry about the humming. Like, just the music in this game. I really like it. So, you know. I'll try not to do too much. Should be. You just hear this. Yeah, okay. Yeah, let's see, it is 5.42 and I podcast at 7, so I'll be on for at least 80 more minutes. <laughs> I wanted to get in attacking with the archer, no! Yeah, I can't, I can't do anything, so... Wait a minute, there's two goblins left. Crap, I thought there was just one. Oh well. I'm being like extremely arrogant right now, but I'm pretty sure we got this in the bag. Even though this guy's not dead. <laughs> 28, what? Well, these are like super human strength goblins. Just rolled up in the town or wreck shop on our team. I'm not taking head on with these two squires because, you know, they're both about to die, so, <laughs> or at least one of them is, so it's like, you know, I wouldn't want to put them in harm's way just to get them killed when I can attack from a distance and then keep them alive. Alright, we won, so I just gotta... Get this dude out. I can't get a clear angle at him with the chemists. Alright. Now to Egros to see if I can get some equipment. Or even afford any with 900 gil for the archer. <laughs> that has no, uh, yeah, way to attack. So, yeah, that'd be great. Guess I will check my job points and whatnot before that. I do this. I do this after every fight. It's kind of OCD, but whatever. Gotta see, like, see if there's any abilities that I can gain. I will wait because I want to get foc. Uh, I don't need move plus one. I'm gonna get focus first and then just like get all these, and then you know it'll move plus one is 200, so it'll get there eventually. All right, here we go. Chemist will get more job points and learn stuff faster. 
know what I'm doing. Ugh, this one has to chill. I had I had another unit, but then they died, so now I'm going to uh yeah. Oh, if I can get concentrate, that would be awesome. That's like one of the best abilities, because you never miss with that. So it's like, oh yeah, concentrate. Once that's on, it's it's like It's like you never miss and you always hit, and it's like, yes, it's it's just so fun to use it. I mean you do reduce damage, but at the at the expense of always hitting the target is totally worth it. In my opinion. For a second there I was like, what am I doing? There we go. They might have better equipment here. Or not. Okay, cool. Alright, we can afford it too. Nice. Everybody's good to go. Buy two more potions. I do want to get battle boots for everybody too, because that get gets you like a plus one move, so it's a thousand. Oh jeez, I would need what? One, two, three, three thousand gil. Actually this is a decent team. It's just I will try it I will try to order with these guys and see what how we do. Actually, the ki uh, see, I'm trying to think if I should use this setup where I have an Archon on the team, but I don't know if that would work too well, so... Whatever. I'll just play, like, two more matches. And then I'll try to order, and then we'll see what happens. Or two more battles, I should say. Now that I think about it, I think every chapter of the battle music changes. So yeah. So it's like it changes just enough, you know, keep things fresh. I could be wrong. So is this four on five or five on yeah, four on five. No five on five, because I got three goblins. Yeah, goblins. See, I'm not worried about the other dudes, it's she can kill them in like one hit. So we'll see what we can do against these goblins. Goblins. Oh wow, that's a four attack range. Yeah, as far as the other stuff I'm streaming, I'll get back to The Walking Dead next month. I should have it finished. And, like, the second episode's not even going to be out for a while, so... As long as I can get through Season 1, just fine. And then, you know, get Chapter... or Season 2, Episode 1 done. And then get my whole PS3 playthrough on the YouTube, since I have the Season 2 already started. So it's kind of backwards, but whatever. That's kind of how I roll. Like, as it gets done, it gets done. So it's like, what? what? Really? 20 damage? Ugh, I think that's the problem. Is like, Rams is, like, too strong right now. So the game is, like, sending units against us that are, like, you know, as strong, if not stronger. But 
these dudes. Um, I'll let the archer take. You, uh, I guess I'll watch the flank here too. And then move the archer back. Yeah. Dang it! That was my mistake. Not paying attention to how, how far I could attack. So I wasn't even able to attack, so yeah. Okay, that's where I want to be. I can heal anybody. What? Most everybody except for that one square from here, so. Goblins, seriously, they're effing us up right now. back real quick because I don't want to get a counterattack and then have too many units I need to heal right now, which is kind of the case. <laughs> so I only have one chemist. I prefer to, you know, stay on the offensive. See, it's annoying because I know how to kill these stupid thingy thingies that are attacking in one turn, but it requires me to use a phoenix down, and I only have two of them, so I don't want to waste my phoenix downs. Man, if only Ramza did 25 instead of 20 damage. Seriously. Just down. Bearing it. I'm gonna take down that guy in the next turn, because whatever. there I was like is that actually a good idea because like I could revive the other squire but then she just get killed again and I could heal the other squ the other squire that's like about to die but then I have the rams and the other lady so they should be able to hold up for the rest of the fight and take out the last 
uh, goblin dude. Or goblin. <laughs> See, this guy's dead. Or thing. <laughs> Don't really know the gender, so. Uh -huh. Alright, cool. Baiting out the uh, other goblin with the chemist worked, so nobody gets attacked. I can just move them all over to take out the last of the goblins. Yeah, first I was going to attack them, like, well, that's probably not a good idea. Because, uh, yeah. And then he had a counterattack and then possibly die or just get terminal status. Yay, 2,000 gold. That means I can get two battle boots. But then those only improve movement, and I did use a phoenix down, and I actually used two phoenix downs, but I guess I just needed not die, and then yeah. Wait a minute. Hold up, dude. This character doesn't have... I was about to say, they're missing that stuff. Okay, now they just need battle boots, but uh... Do I have enough for a phoenix down? Yes. Potion. <laughs> and again, I'm all out of money. Awesome. I forgot to, I just remembered I forgot to check the abilities for screen, but whatever. It happens, man. Okay, Chocobo, Goblin, there's like one other thing I saw. Do, 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 do. Four of them? Ah, uh, chocobos. Ah. Okay, wait a minute. These are these are early chocobos. They're easier than the late game chocobos. I, I keep forgetting that. Yeah, I would go at them, but then Chocobos have like a really stupid like move range, so I'm just gonna let them come to me, and then hopefully when they do retreat, I'll be able to catch them. Before they can retreat and heal themselves, because that gets annoying when they do that. All the time. Let, let them get close to me because I don't want to rush out to attack them and then be, uh, not be able to, uh. Erp, derp, derp, yeah. Not be able to, uh. Finish them off before they can heal. I think if I attack straight across, it should hit the chocobo. Okay. If 
forget about that trick. <laughs> like you can still target a panel that there's nothing on if your if your actions will directly attack another unit. It will still it will still have a chance to hit them. They could also dodge it, so it won't always hit. But you know, there's always a chance it'll hit. That's why I don't like chocobos. <laughs> they will run away, and then they'll heal themselves. And it's like, oh, well, I mean, yeah, you can get them in your party, but and that's and that's like a nice, neat trick. But then it's just annoying when you're fighting them, and they just run away. And it's like, oh, let me heal myself. And they have counter, so it's like, ugh, like all the, which we call it. There's a word for that. Um. <laughs> There's a word for that. Like all the wild monsters have auto counter, so it's really annoying when you're trying to fight them. Oh, that was. See, like this Chocobo has 3 HP. And I'm not 100% sure if I will have somebody be able to come over and, and get the job done before it leaves and heals itself. So it's just like, ugh. Chocobo. 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 And then I just realized that as I'm leveling these characters, that uh, Argeth and Alita are kind of kind of getting the short end of the stick because they're not leveling up as I'm doing this. So, yeah. When I go to the next couple star missions, they're going to be a bit underpowered, but my uh, my squad will be able to pick up the weight, hopefully. Okay, wait, I'm gonna go for the trigger bow, because it's gonna come back at me if I don't. It's only got 20 HP. Well, I can't reach it with the uh, archer, so I'll just try to pick off these goblins. Alright, I should better get this. And that, that attack always has like not enough to kill the unit you want to kill, so it's just like, oh. Okay, I'm surprised it didn't do spin attack there, because it has like, you know, on one side you have Shepard and the other side you have the other the other Squire, and that would have been hitting, hitting two birds with one stone, but maybe it doesn't have that ability, I don't know. Yep. That is a nice trick to know. You'd be a bit lazy on your um <laughs> see this checker book has like more hp now than it had when i when i like went to go attack it the first time so it just won't effing die effing chocobo i'm only doing 15 every attack i need some reinforcements but everybody else is out doing other stuff so you know I 
don't usually attack with chemist, but you know. It seemed to have them on the ropes, so why not? It's not too much of a risk. He had a full HP, so even if, you know, he gets countered and then the goblin attacks him, he'll survive. Is this the archer? Yeah. Oh man, I just realized they are doing like no damage. Like every time I look at that damage, it's like, wow, that's pretty crappy damage. Uh, see, I was hoping to maybe lure out the Chocobo to have it kill that unit, but it didn't work. They just went, uh, went to heal themselves again. Like the last tower many times. Effing Chocobo! <laughs> I was about to drop a chest or a crystal, so... Yeah! Crap, that wasn't smart. Because, yeah. The chemist might die in the next turn, since, uh... There's nobody over there to help with that goblin. Well, there are, but whatever. It's like an unneeded risk. Oh, he'll come back. <laughs> he'll come back. I should be able to finally get this struggle bow. Hopefully. Yeah, because it goes for the kill. Okay. down. Battle boots, and I can see if there's any um, decent bow and arrows at Egros. Let's see how much power my PSP has. Two bars. Hmm. Oh, Warriors Guild. I can get another unit. So before do that, let me see. Oh, there only is a bow gun. Darn. There's nothing in that door or a uh, garland, so hmm. But Alita can't get uh I guess I'll give it to the Alita because that's a, that's a ranged unit, so it would make more sense to give it to Delita. So you can cover more ground. Whereas if you're a ranged unit, you don't need to because you have a weapon that can shoot, hit from more than a uh, one tile over. Okay. Bading. Okay. Okay, I think I think my team might be ready, so I might end the stream here. I guess I'll do like a test run. Oh, one more battle. One more battle to test our might in the field of combat and stuff. Oh, I should have went to the, the thingy thingy to see if I could have changed the names of units, but whatever. See, I could waste my Phoenix Downs and then kill them all in one turn, but that would be that'd be stupid. Well, it wouldn't be stupid, but it'd be a bad, bad call, because then I'd be out of Phoenix Downs. 
I mean, yeah, I could like buy some more with like the credits we gain from winning, but it's like I just re replenished the reserves <laughs> that I completely ran out on because I'd already used them. So it's like, ugh, I mean, really. These things are like hard. They're not hard to kill. They're just very annoying, and like they're all their attacks are strong. So it's like I don't know. I kind of want to kill them just the easy way, but going into Dorder, it's like ugh. I'm not sure if that's doable. Wait a minute. As you can see, I'm currently teaming up on this one because the quicker I can get one out, the better. I guess it's another thing is like, the reason I didn't like tactics and tactics, or not, I mean, uh, tactics advance and A2. I mean, not that I didn't like them, but just like some, some things I didn't like about them was like the stupid law system. And how you know you were like restricted to some reactions at your ad or blah. The same reactions. More so in uh, the first advance game than on the one that was on the DS. Because they kind of they toned that stuff down, which was nice, but it was still annoying that it was in there. Nine damage, yes! Such great results. Such great results. Try to keep everybody alive so I don't have to waste any Phoenix Downs and then not use any Phoenix Downs because of the um, easy one kills on these things. Do, 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 do. Alright, this guy's done. One down, four to go. And then, like, a, a nice little tip there is, like, you know, never leave your back to the enemy. So I, I face that enemy so that her back has shippered on it, so I can't get attacked from behind. Because when you get attacked from behind, you either can't dodge or you have extremely low dodge percentage. So, oh, what the... Whereas, like that, <laughs> you get attacked from the front and you have, you know, not the best, not the worst dodge percentage. <laughs> so, yeah. <laughs> well, I guess you do have, the, like, the best dodge percentage, but, you know. Once I get concentrates done, like, you know, that's not going to happen anymore. Oh, they're teaming up on the chemist. That's not fair. I just thought of something. I could do, like, a whole, like, playthrough of freaking front mission. I love front mission, and I might as well. It's, like, a good excuse to, like, play all these, like, stretch RPGs right now. It's just, like, bust them out and play them. Because they are just like, you know, one of my favorite genres. And like to see that there's another game coming out. in uh, Unsung. Untold. Uh, what, whatever. Unsung. Something something. I keep forgetting the name. 
Okay, it's a good enough excuse for me to just play them all again. So I can hype them, and then, you know, maybe somebody else sees the video and be like, oh man, let me pledge for this Kickstarter. So yeah. Oh, see, this guy's almost dead, but not dead. Actually, if I give him a potion, that that kind of I should do that. I have enough potions, or not? I still have one more to go. Ugh. And then uh, face this way. Because then this unit can come up. Oh, wait. I'm gonna kill this guy. Nice. That was like eighty nine percent. Please do not miss. Oh, spin punch. Got me. Oh wait, did he miss the um squire? I think he might have missed the squire. Oh he did because that was okay, there's nothing there. Pure pure all fifty. Nice. See, the other problem here is the bomb that is like slowly approaching because those things can like self detonate and kill like everything around it. So it's not even funny the damage they do when they do that. It's really annoying. So I just gotta keep my units spaced out to like not have that happen. They can also like soak them in a like oil when they do that, but then there's no other fire um, units in this battle, so we should be fine if that happens. Okay, well, that guy got away, but whatever. We'll take down the goblin, take out the bomb. That should be it. Cool. It appears you cannot miss on the um goblin dudes. I thought about attacking with the chemist, but I was like, nah, that's that's okay. It's not a good idea right now. Do some damage to this bomb, right? I guess I'll do that. Yeah, I'll take the bomb out. Really dangerous too, so let's just get it out.
So yeah, it seems like having those like plus one move boots on actually does like you know make a pretty big difference because you can get around the stage a lot easier. I guess not easier, but you know, a lot faster. Battle is won. The day is saved. I didn't have to use any Phoenix Downs, yes. Alright, we're good, because the Archer I don't need to use in this next fight anyway, because I have, like, f uh, not that many spaces, so we're good. No, I speed. I'll put me one though, just because I won't take any time to get 200 again because I'm at 196, so. Huh. Oh, dude. Yes, see, having the archer, it's going to help because I'm going to get concentration early. Or earlier. So, yeah, that really helps. The chemist dude can get, um... I don't know what I'm doing with the chemist, actually. He doesn't need any of these, like, super... ridiculous abilities, so... Uh -huh. And we all have a little HP, so there's no point in giving him the, um... X potion. Oh, nice. See, when you get them all move plus one in those battle boots, they can cover a lot of a lot more range. So getting it across the map is a lot easier. I'll save that for focus. Oh wait, hold on. I can make sure everybody knows Phoenix down <laughs> before I go to the next fight. I think that's what caused me my other squires is they didn't know Phoenix down so I couldn't revive anybody and I won the battle but I lost two units so whatever oh man I almost have concentration that'll be the end of it once that happens I never really liked using the aim ability so I don't really worry about it because it costs CT which is like the time or something. It's not, it's not like, there's like magic points, hit points, and like a third bar called CT, which is like the count time or whatever. It's like the number of turns before you can move. So it's, it's really weird. It's like, it's not easy to uh, gauge it or, me or like use it when you're, or it was never easy for me anyway. So it tells you how many turns it takes, but it's like, you know, not something I, I like to use and rely on. Ooh, Archer's Bane. Alright, looks like we're good here. Save it here. Do a little test run on Dorder. And then that will be the end of the stream. Well, if all goes well and I just like decimate her, but we'll see. Because I still need like a decent strategy, so. go back to being offensive but actually I guess I'll do that because yeah 
Ooh, see, I kind of want to, like, switch my squire for the archer, but... Mm, the range on those bows is not that great. And I think I just messed up because I, um, yeah. I put the square that I put behind. I should have put them in front, but whatever. They're in the desert. Send red siege. I was thinking I could just put this part in and like like make it a separate highlight when you know if I do actually win this battle, but nah. So I could do like use the same formation theoretically and you know just play my game and I should be fine. Let's see one, two, three, four, five. And we have six. Oh they have six too, okay. Six on six then. I want to knock out the uh, mages first because they can wreck your team with a lot of damage. And their attacks are ranged, so it's just like, ugh, they're such a pain. So I'll just focus on them first. See, this guy's almost dead. Like, you know, that's, what, 20... 21 HP? So, you know, if I can just keep my wits about me. Nice. See, I get when I play this again for the actual recording, that will not go the same way since, you know, it's completely random on will your attacks hit or not, or will your attacks do pushback damage, or, you know, all that stuff. However, knowing this is like a good starting, like, advance offensive thrust. <laughs> You know, good to know. Ugh. Dude. See, I don't see how archers can attack units of like one panel away when they're equipped with the freaking um, bow and arrow or whatever. What? Crap. <laughs> well, this can save one of them. Nice. 
nice. Extra fall damage. See, I don't know why Agris goes up there. Like, what is he doing? He's being like completely useless in the fight because, you know. I can take out this black mage right now. Or the archer, but I'll take out the black mage. He's more of a threat. Okay, I can't... Jeez. 1H effing P. <sighs> Whatever. Go for the archer. And then move the other unit forward, because they have more HP. Oh, no, they don't. Dang it. Never mind, then. Casted it on the body of that other black mage, so crap. Rams it and the square are gonna get hit and she's probably gonna die, but whatever. I have Phoenix down, so you know. Okay, well Rams is gonna get hit. <laughs> Unless I can move before then. Move down here to yeah. down to the people that need healing. Wait, what? I thought he casted it on a black mage. There's no black mage over there. Huh, whatever. Maybe I saw it wrong. Oh, there's a- wait, no, that's Archer. Oh, nice. Oh, he didn't knock him off. But yeah, Delita's like taking it to him with the stones. Oh, now Argus wants to attack. He does 30 damage, which is like more than my other units. He doesn't want to attack. That sounds great. I'll go, I'll, go, I'll go for the knight now because got high HP and only Rams can take them head to head, so... Oh, and no counter, good, okay. Black Mage, you're going down. Ugh, 15 damage, nothing. That is so nothing. And I was gonna cast a spell and kill her, that's, that's great. <laughs> that was great foresight by me and an excellent job attacking with strategic planning in, in mind. Oh, sweet, I did extra damage from the fall. Did not think that was going to happen. How many minions are down? Two? on fire with these stones. I mean, though on like a real foot of battle, I would think, you know, that probably wouldn't work, but, we, but you know, I'll, I'll take it. Oh, dude, there's a black, um, uh, black mage. So I'll revive, I would revive the other square, but then that would just get us both killed, so I'm gonna move this character back. Because they're kinda too out of it to really fight right now. Where 
Where is the other unit? I have that died. Oh, okay, right there. How do I get over there? Uh, good question. I'll just wait then. I'll just wait it out. Everybody else can go. Oh, there we go. This is what chemists are supposed to do. Behind enemy lines and kill the deceased. Yeah, there's a black mage right there in Archer, but you know, it's, right now it's like two on six, so we're good. <sighs> See, that's, that's why I always have a hesitate giving support characters healing abilities. So I'll be doing that instead of attacking. Spell and stuff. Yeah. Ooh, treasure. Nice. I like treasure. I'll just wait. I'll just wait. <laughs> Should be able to get it without, you know, anyone. Nope, he might go for the kill. Or not. Nice. Alright, so we have a couple treasure chests here. Nice. Actually, what I think I might do is I might save this file in, like, space 14. Since I already passed the battle. That I oh, he's dead. Is he dead? Okay. Or like save that in the next save file and then play it again and then get that recording. And then um yeah, when I load up again I'll just be from this the same battle, but I I doubt I'll get like three treasure chests in that fight, so that's why I'm keeping this one. Just wait here. I mean I know Argus will probably move in to kill him, but I wanna get these treasure chests. Or delete it. Yep. With the stone. Nice. See, so yeah, I think I'll just save this in the new save slot. Good where I left off. in your tongue. Bring to book your Turncloak Brigade. I, I, I don't think I've heard that before. You will die. You will be hunted down to the last and slaughtered like the, like the swine you are. For such is bringing you to the point. Oh, Argus. But you, pig, are a lucky one. Tell us what we wish to know, and you and you may yet keep your bacon. So, where is Wygraf? How the bloody hell should I know?
Gustav, the other person who was supposedly a hostage. I think that's what they said. Or unless it's a different person. It's probably a different person. Yeah, I think I, I think I just got that wrong because he said like where is Gustav? But he must have been like asking where is he at, not like, you know, where are they hiding him? Who is the lieutenant commander of the uh Deadmond or Corpse Brigade? Alright, now that I'm past Dorder, that'll end it for the stream, and I can get back to, uh, doing this Let's Play. So anytime I'm leveling again, I will just jump back in here and get some Final Fantasy Tactics action going. But yeah, until you see or hear from me again, that's it for the stream. Thanks for watching, and I'm now signing off.